Hey guys, Xiaomi. Today I want to talk about rune build for the popular RTA meta unit instead of just gameplay as usual. Some of you guys express interest when I talk about strategy and stuff. So today not too much gameplay, ooga booga, violent bro, <laughs> you know that kind of deal. But we're gonna talk a little bit. So I hope you guys will enjoy the content as well. But take what I say today with a grain of salt because we might have a balance patch at the end of July if they are on schedule, which means in maybe a month or two months time, what I say right now might be a little bit different. But for now, Masha is one of the strongest, most popular unit in the game and a lot of people are confused on how to build this unit and why is it so popular. Right now, she is the highest pick rate in RTA and she is a first pick material, which is very strange. You see Masha first pick in almost... Wait. There's no Masha here, but this is the Battle of Elvin Nanfa. You see Masha pretty much every other reply. It's like Changpeng in the past, but now it's Masha. Masha first pick here, Masha first pick there, Masha first pick every fucking where. But also, together with Masha, as you can see on the other hand, we have Dominic, the win dominance of the meta. Dominic also every fucking game and is either first or second pick pretty much everywhere. And Masha can counter Dominic and Dominic can counter everything. So that's why Masha is really popular. So Masha is not even picked to counter Oliver. It is also because Dominic is in every game. So nowadays Masha are usually on Vio Nemesis. Mine is on speed crit damage and attack. So as you can see right here, we are trying to have a balance of HP, attack, damage, crit rate and accuracy. You need accuracy to land the skill to defense break. If not, you're going to be in trouble. So why is Masha so popular. They changed her passive to counter attack by reduction from the enemy. And also she received immunity every time she attacked, which allowed her to protect herself really, really well. In the past, Masha was a very strong damage dealer, but she cannot really protect herself. But this immunity every turn, coupled with how fast, how often she's moving, allow her to be a very strong damage dealer while being very hard to kill. Because most of the time, the easiest way to kill Masha is to have Oblivion from Thessarion or Herney and then you pop the Masha very easily. But now that is very hard to do. That's why people build on Nemesis because when you move quickly in the first turn, you have immunity and then after that Nemesis will give you a lot of attack bar. For like a half glass cannon like Masha, it is very good for her to gain a lot of attack bar to do a lot of damage. So when you build Masha, you want to focus on damage output, some HP and defense because you don't want to get dismounted a little bit too fast because when you get dismounted, then you lose the passive and the immunity thing and you die very easily. So so you can either go very fast and super damage. I've seen crit rate build for her to be at like 280 speed, 290 speed, 300 speed, and she's just really fast. Or you can go crit damage to do damage a bit slower and move after your AOE stripper. For example, you have a Juno. You see enemy go Oliver, Changpeng, and a stripper. You go Juno and Masha. You can plan for Juno to go first and then Masha move after to do damage on an enemy without immunity protection. For artifact, I think you pick Masha against the wind element a lot. You just go damage on wind or you go damage reduction from water which is the main counter Masha and you can go for either skill 2 accuracy because you would really need it like this one is a really good artifact for Masha and I think I should be using it or you can go for crit damage but I think Masha usually will lack accuracy because you will need a lot of different things on Masha and accuracy is like the last thing you care about so you need a lot of accuracy from artifact to help you out with doing damage consistently and now we can talk about Dominic. The elemental system in the game is getting more and more balanced. I know it's kind of weird, but the RT meta is getting a little bit more diverse, a little bit more balanced every time we have new introduction to the meta. And the old meta is still usable, like the old CC com, even Gany Hathor are still usable. But we have more and more options in the meta make games very hard to predict. And it's really cool because Masha is really strong, but they are counter to Masha. Dominic is really strong, but then Masha counter Dominic decently well. So we have Dominic and a lot of people are confused about how to build Dominic as well. So his passive allow him to do one extra attack that do damage according to his attack power. That doesn't crit but ignore defense, ignore elements and is really really good. So there are two main ways to build Dominic. You go speed, attack, attack or you go speed, HP, HP or you go in the middle. But then going in the middle is a little bit tricky because you need your runes to be really good to go in the middle. So if you go speed, attack, attack, you will do decent damage and then you can snipe with a Molong follow up, a Masha follow up, a mouse follow up but something to follow up after the dominic and one shot the enemy 
pretty much immediately, very easily. And if Dominic violent proc once, Dominic can one shot an enemy almost immediately. It's like having a molong, but no drawback. It's it's kind of crazy, right? So for artifact, I think a lot of people like to go additional damage because they see multi hit. But in my personal opinion, he doesn't move that often compared to Oracle to guarantee good additional damage return. But he's more like, I'm going to take this turn and you might die immediately. So I'm going to go for accuracy. I can go for more additional damage, but I think accuracy makes more sense because if you land the branding, your damage increase by so much more. And for the left side, you can go for damage on a certain element or a against a certain element. So I kind of don't like Molong one-shotting my Dominic because that's one of the easiest way to kill Dominic. So I have this, I'm testing this one out. But if you're picking Dominic against Masha a lot, it is absolutely okay to go damage down on fire on a wind unit. It is totally okay to use this kind of artifact on Dominic. Or you're picking Dominic last against Molong, but I don't think Dominic is last pick nowadays. He's so popular. People pick him first, actually. He's a highly contested unit because one violent proc, he kills something. It's so ridiculous. You can either go for damage on the elements that you hate or you use Dominic against, or you use a uh, artifact that reduce damage from let's say fire or water. But you can go for a long game Dominic by going speed HP HP. Then I think you can go for additional damage artifact because you won't be doing as much damage. But because you are going for the long game Dominic, going for speed HP HP is fine. People also go Nemesis and not Will because Nemesis allow you to gain attack bar when Masha or Molong trying to one shot your ass and it is totally fine as well. It really depends on the rune quality and if you need the wheel set for somebody else, then you can go Nemesis and he's going to be okay too. Because when you hit the Dominic, you don't kill him and he, he gained the turn because of Nemesis rune, he'll come back and one shot you. It's really scary, okay? Very, very scary. So both these two units are very high in damage and very scary if you realize that they are Nemesis and you don't kill them immediately. What about water? What is very popular nowadays? It is Shizuka. She's gaining much more popularity compared to before because she's really, really good now. She has this skill three that return all the bomb, defense, break, stun to the enemy. With one violent proc, she can change the whole flow of the battle. She has a skill two that reduce cooldown or revive and a skill one that strip and reduce attack bar or absorb attack bar really really good and if you don't have immunity on your team she can be the immunity unit because she can put two turn immunity now compared to before so if you let her move last in your team your entire team take a turn she move last she applied two turn immunity on your entire team and now you are very well protected she works really well with unit that provide a lot of different buff like let's say kali because kali provide attack speed and invincibility for herself you can use kali to allow shizuka to provide invincibility protection and immunity on every Everybody else. She's ridiculous. She's also like a first pick material to some people nowadays because she's not only protect but also attack with the debuff and she's a very versatile support with the other two skill and a very good leader skill as well. So Shizuka is very very popular. So I use her with Gianna obviously or because Sierra is popular too. You can always have bomb damage on your Shizuka and she need accuracy to land her skill 3. That's why I build her with some decent amount of accuracy. The accuracy you want to go for is like either 25, 50 or 85. Why? Because there are some units that awaken into resistance. So they have high base resist immediately. If you have around 50, you are okay against most units. But then if you want to put that debuff on the Riley, then you want 85. But I would say 50 is okay-ish and then you have summon artifact and you would do just fine for your debuff. So I go speed, HP and attack because the bomb damage can be very lethal. You can also go speed, HP, HP if you don't really care about bomb, you just want debuff and that is totally fine as well. And she doesn't need to be very fast because you want the debuff to happen and then you return them to the enemy. So you don't have to be like super fast with Shizuka. So around 220, 240, 250 is already pretty good. And the moment you land all that debuff and you have a follow up damage dealer, she's, she's a pain to deal with. So these are like the new main meta unit, very popular. And because of the rise of Masha, Bova is becoming even more popular. So in the last season, Bova was really popular because Wusa and Riley are the two main support unit for the season. And they provide a lot of different buff. So Bova is really, really good. I'm using the old school Bova build because I haven't built him seriously yet. But to be honest, I want him to be on a Vile or the Spare Bell, especially Vile. Because when he uses his skill and he's at zero stack, he can Vile and proc and get free stack. 
easily. And because Wusa Riley always provide buff to be useful, Bova is really, really good. But because of Masha, who gain immunity every single turn, Bova become even more popular because he's gaining stack from Masha all the time. So he's a strong damage dealer, healer, and he's stripped. He's, he's great. How do you ruin him? You can ruin him to combo with Molong, like Bova move, Molong move, one unit dead. So you speed tune them close to one another. You speed tune Bova to move in front of at least one follow up unit like Sierra or Oliver. So Bova take a turn and then Oliver can reset that one particular unit because the skill one strip actually has a 100% chance to land the strip and then you get resisted. But usually you do okay. And Bova doesn't need to be on any particular stat. You can go speed, HP, defense, speed, HP, resistance. He's one of the unit that you can use that one goddamn defense rune on and you don't feel too bad because he doesn't scale with anything in particular. So if you have a very fast defense rune, like let's say a rune like this, or maybe a rune like this, a rune like this, and you don't really know where to use that rune, hey, you can throw that on Bover and he's gonna do just fine. He needs some accuracy to steal the buff, he needs some stat to survive, and that's about it. I like to go skill one accuracy for his artifact because he needs to steal buff, and for this one, you either go speed proportion to loss HP or some, some artifact to reduce damage from the certain elements that you hate, and he'll do okay. Like, he's a very simple but very effective unit, one of the highest win rate unit in the game right now in RTA. So hey, if you have Bova, you might want to use him. Because when you see Marsha Riley, which is very popular, Bova is immediately a very threatening unit to these two. Because they buff all the fucking time. So Bova is really good. What about Dominic? So Marsha counter Dominic, but what else? That's the problem. There's not a whole lot of Dominic counter. But if you go in with a mindset that you're going to control him, because he doesn't really have any anti-control passive. He's just about doing big damage. You can stun him just fine. So don't be scared too much about Dominic. A lot of people are scared that he's going to one-shot you. But if you run Chung Peng, Oliver, you run Colonel, you will control the Dominic just like every other unit, okay? Or you can pick Marsha first and then you one-shot Dominic with skill too. That can work too. So Dominic is really strong if you're trying to bruiser him because killing him is not going to be easy and he kill you very, very easily. That's why he's very popular. This unit is ridiculous. You can also pick him in your CC comp as a last pick if enemy doesn't take Dominic. Then he will dominate enemy Molong, he will kill Nana, he will be very, very annoying. And because his damage ignore defense, he's really good against Abelio, who is usually built with some sort of defense going on. Pick up Abelio, very strong unit, goes really well with Dominic and Marsha, and I really like using him. Speed, quick damage, HP is what my Abelio is on. I think I can go defense slot 6 as well for more damage, but right now he's doing okay. And I need some HP to take some damage from artifacts, because damage from artifacts ignore defense. So having high defense kind of, <sighs> it's just not really that good. You die too fast. Mouse is very popular nowadays. There's so many buff going around. Masha, Shizuka, Riley, Wusa, there's so many buff, which means Mouse can get free speed all the time. And he's also another unit that doesn't really scale with anything but speed. And everyone farm for speed rune, so you have that department cover. So he can be on speed, defense, HP, and he will still deal like eight to 10,000 damage. He will still be super annoying, very, very fast. Like, I'm not even joking. If you have a very fast mouse on Vile like this, he can be 300 speed in total speed when you go into the match because everyone has wheel rune, maybe even shield rune, and then attack buff and speed buff, all that stuff. So mouse can do so much damage and he's really, really annoying, especially against Masha. So let's say your mouse has damage on fire. Every turn he does 10,000 damage to Masha. A C3 Masha or below probably will not have more than 25k HP. So one violent proc from mouse and you dismount the Masha and you're done. You destroy Masha so fast. So mouse is really, really good. And Masha cannot kill a mouse because it's water, He's very tanky all the time and it's good. You don't have to build quick damage for this guy because his damage ignore defense. <laughs> it only scale with speed. So shield rune provide mouse with an extra 20 speed because that's four buff on everybody. So go vile shield on Mao and he will just be very annoying. He also deal damage ignore defense. So he's kind of okay against Dominic too. Especially those Dominic that's build focus on damage output. Mouse can actually just shit on the Dominic. So these two are like the opposite. You know, Dominic, ignore defense, wind element. Mouse, ignore defense, water element. And this guy scale with attack, this guy scale with speed. So in the future, <laughs> this is copium talking right now. In the future, we will have a wind mouse. This one right here. You see this? A unit that scale with speed. Maybe ignore defense. But now, now, now she's garbage. So let's forget about her. You know, doesn't really do anything.
Other than that, the other strong units are kind of similar. I think Sekhmet is very popular, but Sekhmet is a hit or miss unit. I have mine on speed grid accuracy. You can know speed HP accuracy. A skill three is ridiculous. Okay, into Wusa Riley, she pretty much have no cooldown, but then she can miss three times in a row very easily as well. And sometimes I question my life using her, but she's really good. When she reset Oliver, Oliver nerf was kind of unnoticeable if you're fighting Oliver as a turn two player. He will still go and do Oliver thing as usual, but if you're contesting speed and you reset Oliver with Sackman, suddenly his cooldown is kind of long because they nerfed the cooldown. So Sackman is really good in that department, resetting Oliver stealing Shizuka buff, stealing Wusa Riley buff. She's really annoying and she can combo really well with Masha and Dominic because she provide defense break for the damage output. So she's a really strong unit, but using her sometimes make me question my life choices. I'm testing out some new unit. I mean, Robo is really popular especially in this oracle season all the sierra gianna gamer are out of their fucking cage and trying to unleash their their oracle gaming power so this is really good okay as a gianna sierra user owner i can tell you that this unit is a pain in the ass you can build them on despair speed hp accuracy or speed hp hp because honestly i'm only using him against a unit that has no resistance whatsoever. So putting accuracy here is kind of a waste, to be honest. I'm going to go for more HP to tank the bomb. And he's going to be here to disturb all these units that has inbuilt additional turns. So Robo is a must build for everybody, to be honest. If you have a fire Robo, you better build this shit immediately. He gets so many turns, he stun your ass. He's, he's just really annoying unit, okay? So the spare revenge, speed HP, HP for me. Also, as some additional damage will be much appreciated. I'm trying out Abigail because of Masha, because Abigail can strip into block buff. So Abigail is arguably a very good Masha counter. So I'm trying out, I'm not sure yet, but maybe you might see an Abigail video where I just shred all the Masha with Abigail. Might be fun. Might be really, really fun. Oh, Abigail is on the spare speed HP accuracy. Other than that, I think it's pretty much the same here. I'm still experimenting stuff and we might see Oliver nerf and then something else is going to be really OP. Who knows? But right now, it is the Masha Dominic Shizuka season and you better be ready, okay? Nana is slowly falling. <sighs> Nana is slowly falling. But I'm trying more stuff out. If you have any questions about RTA, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.